Malachi, remember we talked about those Old Testament prophecies pointing towards Jesus? Well, there's some pointing towards John the Baptist. That Bible, the more you study this, the Bible just gets bigger, more impressive, more holy, more supernatural. Malachi 3, verse 1, I will send my messenger who will prepare a way for me. Now remember that. This is the Lord talking. Then suddenly the Lord, you, then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. He says he's sending a messenger to prepare the way for me. Malachi 4, next chapter. Verse 5. See, I will send the prophet Elijah to you before the great and dreadful day the Lord comes. Not anymore. We know John the Baptist was very important, preparing the way for the Lord. Uh, things we, we can pull from this. That prophecy comes into play again. Like I said, it makes that Bible bigger when you read these things. And then God is using the most unlikely candidates you're going to have someone have a kid. You go out and find the oldest people you can. That is unlikely. Not the way we would do it. And exactly the way God would do it. Why? Because it helps show it's him. Then there's two interesting benef uh, benefits to understanding that God uses the most unlikely candidates. That means he could use me or you. Just put in how... Uh, it doesn't matter how you feel about yourself, what you've done wrong, where you've been, what you're going to, what you're afraid of. If God can use other unlikely candidates, he could use you. He could use me. And to me, that's, a, that's inspiring that God works like that as I read these words. Uh, too old to be parents. We already mentioned Abraham, Sarah, Zechariah, Elizabeth. God uses the most unlikely candidates is a great message to remember from this story. A second application of this. You know what this also means besides the fact that he could use you despite your flaws, your past? That means he could use somebody else. This helps you. You know why? Because other people aren't that much fun to hang out with sometimes. You know, insert your favorite thing, but they're out there. You know, the ones who talk too much, the ones who don't talk at all. Neither one's much fun to hang out with. You know, the ones whose hygiene isn't what it should be. Not as much fun to hang out with. Those who are one-track minds. I make, I've been talking lately about one of my particular doctors who makes Spock look warm and fuzzy. You know, I can tell we're not going to hang out. We're not going to hang out. What can God do with them? Same thing. So it helps you accept yourself and know that God can use you. It helps you accept other people. In spite of whatever looks the way it looks, God could use them. That gives you a bit of hope and a bit of uh, patience, a bit of understanding. You know, that, that even though they may be rough, we'll be kind, just call them rough, uh, they could be polished into a diamond when God gets done with them.